Welcome to another edition of the Warrior Daily. This time the spotlight will be on the running backs and fullbacks. Joining me today is head coach Paul Winters. Paul, thanks for joining us today. It's always my pleasure. Well, as I mentioned, let's start talking about the fullbacks. And why not with senior <laughs> Chet Privet? You talk about a kid that does it athletically. He's been an All-American. Academically, he's been academic all-conference. And in the community, he's our Good Works nominee for the American Football Coaches Association. Yeah, you, when you start with Chet, you start with the total package. Uh, Chet's a, a quality young man. He's always maintained over a 3.5 GPA. Um, is one of the hardest working guys in the weight room that we have. And uh, he, he's just a warrior on the field. So uh, the prototypical guy that you want in your program because he's going to always work hard. He's always going to represent you well. He's going to go out in the community and, and give back. Mm -hmm. um, you just you, you can't help but love him. Also, and that, you know, you don't want to forget the other fullback. So, I'm, before you get started, I'll go ahead. <laughs> um, Sean Bear McCullough, yes. um, just an outstanding young man who started here as a defensive tackle, and um, he bounced around and he's played some tight end and will continue to play some tight end. Um, but we we put him at a fullback when Chet was hurt in the playoffs in 2011, mm -hmm. and he did a fantastic job for us, and, and it gives us the ability to have a a 230-pound fullback and a 260-pound fullback. And um, when you have a 260-pound fullback, you, you do a lot of damage. And uh, there might be times when, when Sean and, and Chet are in the backfield together just to see if we can be even stronger and more physical. Wow. And I know Sean still counts the touchdown catch at Grand Valley as one of his biggest thrills here. So um, moving over to the tailbacks, obviously a lot of depth there. You, we've got five, six guys that anybody could play. You've got Tony Davis coming back over 3,000 career rushing yards. Des Martin had two of the longest runs in school history over the last few years. Give us your feedback on the tailbacks. I'm very excited about the tailbacks. I'm very excited about camp because of our tailback situation. Uh, we have at least five guys that have played tailback for us in games, have run the football, and will continue to run the football. You start off with um, Tony Davis because Tony – is a senior, has rushed for 1,600 yards in one season, has rushed for 980 or so last season, mm -hmm. uh, just missing 1,000, and um, obviously his, his, you know, he's in our history books. Um, so he's an outstanding tailback. He's, he's a, a, a big physical young man with, with great leg drive, um, great quickness and vision in the hole, um, is an outstanding running back. Des Martin is a, the biggest version we, that we've had at tailback since I've been here. He's up to about 220 pounds. And, you know, when you, you combine the fact that he's about 6'1", 220, and he also has those long runs, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's an exciting thing. And I think what happens with Dez sometimes is you have normal runs, but he's 220 pounds and runs through defensive backs, and they end up long runs. So we're very excited about him. We need to... Um, give him an opportunity to show what he can do, and, and, and we expect great things. Uh, you go with, uh, I kind of combine the two, sometimes Christian Burks and Jay Hayes, um, because if you talk about the two guys that had the best spring, it was Christian Burks and Jay Hayes. Mm -hmm. uh, Christian's a, a smaller, faster guy, where Jay's a 205, 210-pound um, receiver slash tailback. Um, both guys are great on the edge. Both guys can run it up inside. Both guys are going to play a lot. Um, also, Jesse Johnson, who you know is in his last season with us. Uh, Jesse came in as the chosen one a long time ago, and, and you know uh, he's done a fantastic job for us. He's a guy that um, not only can he start a drive, but if anybody's in there and they have to come out during a drive, he's a guy you feel very comfortable that he can finish a drive for you. So, so you're very excited about all five of those guys and and you know you never want to forget the two young men that, that came in as freshmen mm -hmm. um, Amir Edwards from Toledo Central Catholic state champion in Ohio um, another physical uh, quick great vision tailback um, you know you can't say enough how he finished the championship game with a broken foot and rushed for 185 yards that's tremendous I yeah mean, just a lot of heart and everything. Character, heart, toughness, you know, um, pain tolerance, all, <laughs> all the things you, you know, uh, I won't get into a big story, but 
Um, one of the best stories I heard about a great football player was his inability to recognize pain immediately. Mm. I think Amir has that inability. <laughs> um, but Romello Brown's the other um, freshman tailback from Livonia Churchill. And um, boy, you know, he's 230 pounds. Um, so a bigger version. Yes. <laughs> and um, he's a dream teamer, mm -hmm. um, one of the top backs in the state. So uh, we've done well. Uh, guys know they're gonna, there's going to be competition. They know that they have to come in and, and compete, and they still choose to be here, and I love that. And I think the other thing besides that depth, not only can they run the ball, they can pass catch. Tony's really improved that over the last few years. But they all, a number of them also return kicks or punts. Jay, Christian, Jesse have all done that in the past. So there's other ways for them to get on the field and make an impact as, in the program as well. They'll be involved in special teams, and, and, and again, the more athletes you can put on your special teams, the better your teams are. Sounds great. Well, we appreciate you watching this edition of the Warrior Daily.